Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have four big Madman boxes to unbox with anime figures in them. But before I do that, in my convention video I ran out of time to unbox these figures I got. So that's what I want to do first. Let's take a look. We gonna burn it down. So now we're just going to take a look at them individually. Naruto, I have to say, he has a really unique look to him. He's a variant of a uh, Shippuden figure. He's a color edition. So he kind of has like this glossy see-through, uh, almost like a wax effect. But as I said before, having him on the base and everything, he looks a lot better out of the box than he does in it, that's for sure. Then Sailor Venus. I wasn't going to pick up any of these Tamashi buddies, but uh, she's pretty cute. You know, she's just a little figure and she was already put together. Having the backdrop is a cool little feature as well. So these are easily collectible and pretty affordable uh, figures for anyone who wants to collect them. I just never really had any desire to pick them up. Next is Bulma from Dragon Ball Super. I didn't know in the last video who she was and I guess it's just a more mature uh, looking Bulma. Her hair color is a little bit different. A pro to having these figures is they don't take up a lot of room and they're pretty cool to look at still. Then finally to my favorite figure of the bunch. This is Android 18 and I put her together here with launch because she's also a styling figure that I got earlier on last year. Uh, really happy to have Android 18. I was going to buy her but it was a little bit too expensive. I think they wanted about $20 for her and as you can see she's you know, a little bit smaller, but the detail I'm really happy with. I didn't think she was going to be this detailed. She looks great alongside launch. And then finally we have Aaron Yeager cleaning with his broom. Um, again, pretty detailed. I already have Aaron Yeager cleaning edition. So the, the good thing about the other figure is I can display him with his swords as a uh, guard as well. So I'm probably going to do that and keep this one as the cleaning figure. But yeah, super happy to have this one. Got to get back into Attack on Titan and watch the second season. All right, next we're moving on straight into the Mad Men boxes. I believe I have about 10 figures spread out through these four boxes. So let's get the first one open. <laughs> Wow, immediately you can see we have three figures in here as well as the usual foam beads, pain in my ass. So let's just randomly start off with this one. We might even have more than three. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I know what you're thinking. Didn't Nicole buy this figure in one of the last videos? And yes, she did, but me being the collector I am, I had to get one myself. I was really impressed with this figure. I was actually going to buy one uh, a couple months ago, back when I bought the... Uh, Asuna from Elfheim Online, and so this is Yuki from Elfheim Online, as I've already showed you guys the figure, um, but yeah, I had to have my own one, so let me put it together all the same and show you guys again. So here she is, I thought I'd try her in an alternate pose holding her sword outright. Usually she's pointing it down to the floor and there's a little spot where it fits in, but um, I won't show this figure off too much because a lot of you have probably already seen it in my last video when Nicole bought it, but super happy to have my own. Really impressed with this figure. All right, next we have another one that I was considering buying in my last lot, but I'd already bought so many figures. It gets quite expensive after a while and you just have to cut down on certain ones that you don't really want. Um, but I decided to pick it up this time because it was a little bit cheaper. And here I have a Creator X Creator version of Tony Chopper from One Piece. So here is the box. I'm not sure what's going on with this cat, but the cat is all over it doing like poses with his hat on and yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess this guy's like a variant as well because you can probably get him in either one, but as you can see, this version is definitely cuter than the other one. So who is this guy? Let's open this up and take a look. Oh my goodness, he's so much bigger than I thought he was. 
His head is ginormous, and here's his body. I had no idea he was going to be this big. His head is huge. It's seriously, like, actually pretty weighty leaning on his body. Let's put him on the stand. Yeah, so as I was saying, his head is actually so big and weighs so much, it needs its own support just to hold it up. I'm really happy with this figure. I had no idea he was going to be this big. Um, I thought he was going to be tiny. Like, this is, this is like one of the biggest figures I have, just in terms of mass. <laughs> this is absolutely flawless, the design of him. You can move his antlers a little bit. His head has a really nice hard feeling to it, and I think the color is perfect. So, so far, I'm really blown away with this one. Um, pick of the bunch so far. Alrighty, the final one in the box here. This is a variant, and I believe, if memory serves me, it's an international variant. Uh, so this is the shining color edition of Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. So this is an S cultures figure just like a few others I've bought in the past. Um, but this specific version is colored much more, uh, how do I explain it? Dynamic, I suppose, than the regular edition. The regular edition was kind of matte. This one has a shine and just like a dynamic movement to it, almost like a silver flash about him. So I'm going to open this up and hopefully he's as good as I saw on the internet. Really cool box too, how it's like a cube. Have a look at that interior on the box too. It's really nice. Oh! For a second I was literally thinking they forgot to paint the sword because it's just like this matte black color. And then I turn it over and it kind of... Look at that! I'm not sure... Hang on. I'm not sure why one side is like darker but it does still shine kind of like that like you can see off the light it shines but this side is painted so beautifully I, I have no idea why one side's like that but anyway we'll find out have a look at this guy he is phenomenal I'm so happy with this one I couldn't have imagined that this paint job was going to be as good as it is um yeah this one's just gone above and beyond Look, look at the details on his pants and, you know, they've even put like, you know how uh, metallic objects give like a, in, in film they give like a light spot. They put that on his pants, um, his boots are so detailed and his colour is just an amazing palette choice too. So as I said, this one was the variant, there was also another one which was differently coloured, but I had to get this dynamic version. Uh, it cost me a little bit more but I have to say it was worth it. This is one of my favorite figures I picked up overall, I have to say, and certainly for this bunch. So far, this pickup is looking like a really quality uh, bunch of figures, so I can't wait to get into the next one. All right, that was all for the first box. Now we're gonna get into the second one. More beads with stuff buried underneath. So there is one massive figure in here. Like, it has the dimensions for the figures online, but until you actually see them, you really have no idea how big they're going to be. Like, the ones that I expected to be small have been bigger, like Trunks and Chopper, and the ones I expected to be... Well, and this one, actually, and the ones you kind of expect to be big usually aren't that big. And so, now I'm just going to get this one out. Oh, oh my god! Get ready for this one. So this box though, as you can see, it is Asuna from Sword Art Online with the blue hair, specifically season two. Um, this is probably from the extra edition of Sword Art Online where they go to the beach, but there's the figure and this box is huge. I really wasn't expecting this. It, going by this box, this figure is gonna be like, yay high and let's get her out. I can't wait to see. has a stink to it. So I have all these parts, I'm guessing they're part of the background kind of thing, just like going around her. And also all these little, uh, like, like rods as well, so... Um, as well as this, so I don't know what I'm 100% doing, but let's just start and hopefully it'll work itself out. Oh, it goes in her hair! Is it? Two hours later. 
Oh my god, I'm still filming. Alrighty, so I finally got Asana together and I worked out what everything is. So I'm pretty damn blown away with this figure as well. Um, the waves going around there, I couldn't, I didn't even know they were part of it. Uh, and yeah, she's a lot bigger than I thought she was going to be. She looks awesome in her bikini. Let me just get a back shot. The colour on her hair is so awesome. Um, perfect for summertime. And yeah, again, one of my favourite figures of this lot, so... There have been some really quality figures in this pickup. Super happy to have Asuna. Alright guys, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to split the second two boxes into a second part because I've just spent too much time with the uh, figures from the convention. So there's one more in this box and then I'm going to end this video. So stay tuned for the next part to see the rest. I'm about a little, probably a third way through so there's a lot more figures in the next lot. Um, but, oh, there's two in this one. Alright, you guys have got two more, so you're lucky. I'll just get these out together. Basically, these are some Dragon Ball, uh, build them and paint them yourself sets. And they're vehicles as well as characters, so. We have Volume 5, Yamcha's Mighty Mouse. So the car in Dragon Ball, if you're familiar, that Yamcha and Pua drive around in when they're bandits. Uh, here's the box. It's just kind of got a plain back on it. It's not even sealed. So these were easily the cheapest figures out of all of them. And, you know, I don't have a lot of experience. Well, I have pretty much no experience with painting and building miniatures. The only thing I used to do back in the day was Warhammer. But I was literally, I think, 10 years old. So that's not going to help me at all. But here's the second one. And this is volume six, Oolong's Road Buggy. So you've got uh, Goku, you know, as a kid and Oolong in the vehicle. And it's just the same sort of stuff. So obviously there was a few of these volumes, uh, at least going up to six. So I have five and six here. Let's open them up. Let's have a look. Yeah. So this is what I expected. <laughs> um, these are tiny. I did. I knew they were going to be small because they were cheap, but I didn't realize they were going to be this small. Oh man. So these are literally, you know, tabletop style figures like. You build them, you, sorry, you, yeah, you build them, you paint them, you display them. And I don't have any of the uh, glues or, you know, tools necessary to build them. And certainly I don't have any of the paints anymore. So these ones are probably just going to stay like this until, you know, I do eventually get into doing miniatures. Because that's another thing. There's such a long list of things I actually want to get into. Just not only collecting, but also engaging in playing, getting in part of the community too. And in one of my last videos, I said I wanted to get more into the comic book culture. Um, I also want to get back into Warhammer. Uh, specifically 40,000, build an army of space marines. I don't know if I'll ever, you know, really play or anything like that. Especially because I don't really know anyone um, to play with. I mean, there is a local hobby shop I could go to and do that, but I really want to get my hands into just starting off and, you know, I want to start with probably uh, maybe something like the Grey Knights or something, but that's for another video. Uh, then, but yeah, there may be uh, videos like that coming in the future, but these are going to stay like this. Here's the manual, or I guess, you know, just the instructions to build it. And it's in... Okay, it folds out like this, so one side's in full colour, as you can see there, but it's pretty complex. I wasn't, I mean, I was expecting to kind of build it, but I wasn't expecting this many parts, so that's still cool to have. And I do like the artwork on the box because I wanted to get more Dragon Ball, just, you know, the original Dragon Ball figures, because I love Dragon Ball... Maybe not as much as Dragon Ball Z, but in a different way. It's a very different series, and I think a lot of people don't really understand that. It's not as appreciated as it should be. So here's the next one. Here's uh, Volume 5, Yamcha's Buggy. The same sort of stuff. And here's the manual. So these were the only two volumes available on Mad Men's website. I'm not sure if they had more in the past, or they're getting more in the future. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I paid a little bit more for, for what these are. Typically I paid a little bit more than I thought, you know what I mean? Like, um, but that's the Dragon Ball Z, oh, sorry, the Dragon, that's the Dragon Ball Mecha Collection, uh, volume five and six. So anyway, guys, this video has gone on long enough. If you want to see the rest of the two boxes, stay tuned for part two. It'll be coming very soon within the next couple of days. Um... I want to keep the videos as short as possible and kind of more quality over quantity and I'd rather just 
do a brand new video for them. So thank you guys for watching. I'll get one last shot of all these figures and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.